What's going on, people? Welcome to the family, and welcome back to another O'Gonald's Talk segment. And today, I want to be talking about, uh, let me ask you this question. How much is your peace of mind worth? And I can tell you for me, personally, my peace of mind is priceless. I wouldn't trade that for the world, you know? And it, that's a good thing, because... You, you really don't you would you really wouldn't want any like mental blockages or anything of that manner like getting in a way of you know your creative process because it's gonna slow you down rather it's um rather it's like family members or friends or whatever activity that you're doing your peace of mind is uh really worth it it will your peace of mind will determine the outcome of whatever you're producing your end product so like in terms of any like creative endeavors you may want to you know have that peace of mind you know and so like you definitely don't want to be thinking about the argument that happened last week you don't want to be thinking about that that friend that said that you sucked at drawing you don't want to be thinking about any of any of these types of uh any of these types of uh, mental blockages that will get in the way of the uh, the end product, you know. And you know, again, it doesn't have to be drawing. It could be like pretty much anything, creative. And you know, if you have like this, if you're hanging around certain types of people that will constantly keep embedding this pessimistic mindset into your head, like, oh, you're bad at drawing. Uh, if if you're constantly hanging around that person. Your mind is gonna like adapt or get used to that way of thinking. So, like, let's just say, for example, you have this friend for like, you know, five five years or so, and he was and he's constantly, he or she is constantly trying to beat you down. That oh, oh, your your drawing suck or whatever. Or you, perhaps you have parents that don't really support that. But that's for another story. But let's just stay stick with the friends example. So. You have that thought in your mind that you're bad at drawing or so, and that thought is going to, you know, portray itself in your artwork as you're like drawing your art. You're going to have that mental blockages. That voice is just going to keep coming and coming up, up into your head and you won't access that flow state. You won't have fun with the drawing. Instead, it's going to be really stressful, you know, and that thought that you suck that drawing it doesn't belong to you it belonged it belongs to that so and so and so friend of yours that you know said that to you and therefore you like adapted that that thought process you know so like in situations like these you're going to have to like find some way to end these mental blockages and a, w a, a way to end this men these mental blockages is like just to cut off the relationship you know at first, this may seem like a bad thing or so, but this is all for your expansion. This is all for your peace of mind. Are you happy being around, around like certain types of people? You got to ask yourself this type of question, you know, because sometimes certain types of people will, you know, slow you down and will and will not like uh, contribute to your expansion, your success in some some way, you know. And and you as an artist, you don't have to tolerate such a, you know, inhibiting relationship that involves your creativity, you know, and you want something you want more positive, uplifting types of people that will support you. So then you will just want to make, you know, new friends that do support you, that will support you in whatever type of, you know, endeavors, your ideas, you know that you know will just accept you 100 percent, you know and not just for for status or whatever or so so like they say that you become you know you start to uh become like your top three or top five closest friends that you know that you hang around with you know like so let's just say if you're hanging around people that are that actually just want to continue to expand or that want to like help you out you know like you'll do like a lot more better for yourself because you wouldn't really have these mental blockages that just stop you you know as opposed to hanging around like you know five people that just you know you know just cause trouble they're not and that doesn't necessarily mean that 
the person is a is a bad so and so bad person it's just that you're different you know and you got to find other people you know you you've grown out of them in in some way so yeah now if we were going to go into like activities you may be doing like an activity that you know that doesn't make you happy but you're doing it anyway you know Try making that conscious choice to, you know, just not do it, you know? Like, let's just say you're, you're partying, but you can't help it. Now, th this is a very tough, tough uh, thing to tackle. And there are even a lot more complicated situations. But, but I would say, like, ask yourself, are you miserable or are you happy? And also ask yourself, are you willing to die for the your miserableness? Or will, are you willing to die for your happiness? You know, I'd rather live a very short life while I'm happy, if I had to choose, you know. And honestly, in this world, it's, it's like a constant battle for your peace of mind. So you got to take, you know, you got to take some steps to, you know, you know, take care of that peace of mind. Rather, it's, you know, yeah, like take care of the peace of mind while you're, you know, doing whatever creative endeavors that you're doing, whether it's, uh, you know, listening to music or, or, or whatever, whatever you do that, that, you know, eases your mind from, you know, the daily stresses of life, you know, because, you know, everyone, everyone goes through it and yeah, it's pretty much everyone goes through it. It's pretty much normal in this world. So, yeah. And like what it really comes down to is like mastering your, you know, peace of mind level, you know, it's, it's like, it's like another skill with, within itself, like, like drawing or, or, or so and so, like you, you got to master that, you know, peace of mind type of skill to not like focus on all like the negative stuff that's happening or, um, or some certain types of people, you know, but, but these types of people, they, they do help you. They, they provide that contrast for you to, you know, better yourself to, you know, expand even more like in like, like we can take a story, for example, the, uh, the main character, the main hero learns his most deepest, you know, he learns, he learns a lot more about himself through the antagonist, which challenges him. That's how you, that's how I see life as well. When I meet so-and-so antagonists but you know they're, they're good people they're going through their own ex experiences you know they're, they're not necessarily bad people or so I, I have this entire philosophy about good and bad I'll, I'll probably get into another video about that but it's not art related I don't know but not to get all on a tangent peace of mind so like for me like peace of mind is like top priority you know, because once you have your, your peace of mind intact, you can, like, learn a lot more things, a lot more easier, and a lot more fun as well, when you have your peace of mind intact, you know, because I know if you have, you know, your daily stresses going on in your head while you're, you know, learning something about math, or you you have, let, let, let's just say that, You've been told, oh, you, oh, you suck at math, etc. We're just we're, we're doing this for example, you know. Oh, you suck at math. You're bad at math. When you're constantly being told this, you're gonna actually believe it, and it's gonna show in your product, you know. So whether you have people who do say that, again, that thought that thought doesn't belong to you. It belongs to them. You're pretty much stealing thoughts from them, and actually believing it. So, in some way, you got to find some way to, like, you know, just, you know, master. Just have that peace of mind, you know. Have that peace of mind. Become, like, this kind of empty slate as you're learning math. And I feel when you have or master that peace of mind, empty, blank slate type of mindset, then you start to, you know, learn a lot easier. Everything just starts to flow a lot better. And... Yeah, totally. Yeah. And like, like this experience, this peace of mind thing, like definitely worked for me because I know like back, back in the days in elementary school, middle school or so, like I had like tons of, you know, stresses going on in my head that tons of people, you know, 
calling me stupid or, or, or whatnot. And I ended up believing in that. I ended up believing that, you know, and that portrayed in like uh, the amount of stuff, the information I was gathering from the, uh, the, the lectures or, or the math or, or whatever, you know, I, it, but like, uh, yeah, once you like get that peace of mind going, then it just starts to become a lot easier for you to learn like a whole bunch of different skills, you know, and, and me personally, I feel that the most complicated thing that the human race can understand is to like be simple. They don't get how simple it is, you know, just relax and yeah. So yeah, this is, this is going to be it. Hit that, you know, subscribe button and like if you like it and yeah, peace out. I'll be doing more of these later guys.